Slime Jesus down, boys. We're going home. Provincial Park. I don't even know what level we're on. I think we got this and one more, maybe? Light on ammo. Welcome to Slime Peaks. So is that like a good segue in actually playing their programming? I remember we talked, uh, it was probably about this game, I've, I've heard us talk about stuff like this before. Just saying, I, is it a good like segue into actually using assembly? I, feel, I said I feel like we've talked about it before. Actually, if I remember, it's talking about some game that was very similar to actual programming, but maybe it's something else. you said that. It's very similar to a normal programming language. Here's it is close enough that you can actually kind of like segue from that into learning the actual language easily. I got a lot of shock now. Oh, okay. I don't know anything about assembly. It's neat, though. Is there games where you like do actual programming, but like it plays out like a game or something?
Chips. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. Ammo's pretty light here now. I'm almost out. So it's all there just in there because it's on like a normal computer or something? Some serious job shit. Yeah, imagine the wood. Oh. Oh, I missed a bunch of secrets. Oh, two so far. Oh. That's all I got left right here, dude. Crazy lack of ammo in this game. Or this one. Assembly. Hey man. The problem is you don't always miss, you just shoot more than you need to kill a guy. They have like death animations. I don't know exactly when they die. There you go. Ammo. Oh, 
I had the chainsaw thing, I'd use that, man. Just gonna use this to kill the big guys. This period is good. I enjoyed that one. Crazy lack of ammo, man. Skip Demon of Hatred? Yeah. This is like really shit. I was just like already kind of done with the game because I took like a four or five day break and it just seemed so boring to like just grind out so I could tell it was going to be a grind man and it's a dodging boss in a game about parrying so the mechanics just don't work well man the souls type bosses just don't work well in Sakura I was just bored with it I was like this is not worth the fucking effort dude. Yeah, it's really long too. Yeah, and you can get fucked really quick. I'm just not interested, man. This could not be bothered, but some people like the boss, so I don't He's just way too tanky when the best strat to fight him is to run around in circles over long periods of time until he has like very small openings. Because if you try to dodge him on the point, or you try to parry him, his attacks go through your parry because it's fire. So if you try to just parry the boss, you will get chipped down. So you have to do dodging, or just guerrilla tactics, which is what I did. It's just really bad. I don't know what, what the hell they're thinking. It's a horrible boss. the team anymore. Yeah. I mean, I didn't need it fast, the extra attack power. But you could just get the Dragon Mask and get more attack power that way if you want. I don't know if you created the mask yet. That's like your new game plus thing, pretty much. You can funnel skill points and attack power. You have to do the goldfish quests. The koi quest. I feel guilty because Chuck's is never my favorite cereal. I this guy's the day. It's really a struggle they go through is to see the key place. Yeah, dude. I'll probably get some checks after this one. Just to try it out. I don't think I've ever had, a, had any actual checks. I don't know the struggle. Nice, man. I've been getting fudgicles a lot, man. They're not really that bad for you. Just to have a nice little cold treat. I'm better than going out and getting like a nice little fucking Dairy Queen or something. I mean, it's not better taste wise, but it's healthy. 
Would have been a huge popsicle guy though. I mean, I don't hate him, but give me a cone or something before. Oh, fuck. There's probably ammo there. Meteor spaceship. Right, this is the end game, baby. Oh shit. Yeah, what's with the grown ass man buying a popsicle? It's just food, dude. It's not like you're buying some ninja turtle little gum and drop fucking ice cream or something. Yeah, even with that fast, I mean that means you could just turn that boss into like a grind, but like it's just not fun. And I I mean I hundred percent of everything else, I just couldn't be bothered. But like I said, I was just kinda done at that point. I didn't wanna make the game any shittier for me. I did like it. 147 dudes, but now we're on the alien fucking mothership, baby. The meteor. It's our god king, checks man. Coming to save the day. Rid us of the menace. So they give us enough fucking ammo, dude. The finale of System Shock 2 is kind of like this, right? Where you go into the... I don't even know how you describe it. Special kind of like rocky area. I didn't play the first one yet, but... Take one out of media and start munching. I should have bought him for this game, dude. Sorry, boys. I'm not a big enough budget clever streamer to pre purchase props and shit for the streams. I hide under the guise of being real and being chill, but it's just an excuse for laziness and a lack of clever ideas. How was Unicrush? It was fun, dude. I mean, it's janky, and the gameplay is arguably pretty shit, you know, <laughs> in, a, in, a, in certain ways, but it's got its fun, man. And the story is just too good, man. The dialogue and, like, the, the environments and the animated creatures are just, the NPC design's great. So... It's worth playing for sure. They both are, man. Xenoclash is cheap. I mean, I got them on Humble Bundles like 10 years ago. It's a 10 year plus game. I think the first one's like 13 years ago almost. But it's fun, dude. It's just fun, just fucking ridiculous story. Just really surreal shit. Yeah, the music in Chex 3 is fucking sick, dude. Uh, I kind of want to get the tunes for this, man. It's better than Doom's music, man. Like, straight up. Doom's music didn't do shit for me after a while, man. Like, I know it's like legendary and shit, but it really wasn't that hype. <laughs> this Jax music's fucking super hype. The absurdity of this Jax man taking down the alien menace with this fucking song in the final level. It's too good. The levels are really good in this. I don't know. This actually game's pretty, pretty fucking nice, man. 80s trash metal. Yeah, I know a lot of it's just like remade music or whatever within legal parameters. Uh, it'll be cool to see what people do later. I didn't get a key. I feel like I missed something up there. It'd be cool to see what kind of music people are going to do in the other mods. What was this one for? Oh, shit. Fucking shacks, dude. 
This fucking music. It's so it's so badass to be like a Chax fucking song. Who made this game? Um, it's a team of... Okay, his name's Dan something. I'm look it up. Digital... This Digital Cafe. The people who made it. And then Trex Quest 3 is made in 2008 by one of the members of the team. And his name was... Oh, it was worked on as a service to the fans by former Digital Cafe members Charles Jacoby, Scott Holman, and Andrew Benson. Supposed to be one level, but Jacoby made it a full sequel. So yeah, Chex Quest 3 comes out 10 years later. Yeah, Digital Cafe. But uh, it's officially like a Chex cereal thing. The first one was in boxes of Jack cereal and they allowed them to do two and three, I guess. I don't know how it two worked, but what am I looking for here? I don't know if it was like they approached Jack cereal or Jack's approached somebody to make a Doom clone because it's really popular. Yeah, the Mad Men, dude. I wish we still had Mad Men like this fucking <laughs> doing stuff. But Doom was like hyper popular, so yeah, that's probably a big part of it, right? Yeah. Mix it up. That's pretty good, man. Did Arage mean to make it uh, that clever? Please make the stupid slot go away and fade. Sorry, dude. You're gonna get charmed for six turns and like it. <laughs> Come here, like Doom Clone of our cereal. Yeah. Hey, man. I mean, playing off of like something popular and. I don't know, maybe since it's like part clone, they could just like focus on the good parts of it since it's already kind of like pre-made in a way. I don't know. I don't know what the recipe is, but the rare person hired to do something who actually makes it really cool and passion for it. There's other, there's other examples of this too, where people like have some like something really shitty and then they turn into something really cool. It was like uh, the old like Picross music and shit from NES, the NES game and stuff. The shit that has like no right to be any good, but then it's just like magically like really great because somebody gave a fuck. Hey man, it worked for Chex, I guess. Yeah, they are. It's like a HD remake coming out soon. Dude, where the fuck is this one? Something open over here. There's way out there though. I don't know where I'm missing this damn key. My boys on. It's beyond shit. The Pizza Hut game? I remember the fucking Lego pizza shit, man. Yeah, this would have been sick, man. You pull this out of your fucking cereal box. Kicking hard ass, man. And sadly, corporations... Since it's usually money involved, you know. Don't always get the best people or care enough, man. Good cash in. Where the flying fuck is this? I feel like it's some, uh. Oh, do I have to, like, drop down here, maybe? Maybe I drop down to that one. Oh. 
Hmm. I remember just Tony the Tiger saying it's great, but I never really knew about any of his. His outings and video games. I won't have a chance to play that much during the old school, do multiplayer session, old deathmatch map, uh, midi 80s pop, and not do that. Sounds pretty good. I would try uh, to get together one of those for fun. That sounds pretty ridiculous in a good way. What the fuck is this shit, man? Killing the hype, sorry boys. I must just be blind. That'd be pretty good though. Smitty like covers of like old ass grunge songs and stuff. There has to be something here. What would even be the point otherwise? Coming here. Oh. I don't think anything fancy is happening because of this. It's gotta just be like a key that I get on this side, so it would be the point otherwise. We used a few different sound fonts when playing OG Doom, but... Just ended up leaving it on the fluid synth or whatever. Maybe this will open if I go quick enough? I doubt it. This is just where we started. Sounded like it was close by though. It's a different one. Hmm. I think I just missed something really obvious somewhere. like some hyper secret. Oh, I 
It must be really obvious that I'm just messing up. Unless that's opening something down here too. Oh yeah, you said you're you're kind of feeling like you're done too fast. Oh yeah, I don't know. I just kind of had that feel when I was playing it. I attribute it to the break I took because I had stressful shit going on. But I don't know. Maybe I was just kind of done. So I don't know. Like if they made another one, like what they would do. Because the parry system is really good, but you're kind of limited to like those kinds of bosses. So they'd have to get creative or get cool with the level variety. I don't really know what's up here. I doubt there's like a bug or anything. The Kino final boss, oh, you're good. Final boss is pretty good. Well, after it checks, I'm probably gonna play the Pain's Creek killings. Probably. <laughs> Wait, the jobber? Hey, it wasn't too hard. What the fuck, man? I've been on this stage for longer than the entire fucking episode, dude. Yeah, Paints Creek seems cool. Nah, yeah, he was pretty cocked, man. Still facing any Cheeto something something. Where is this shit, man? Anybody know where this shit is in here? It must be just really hidden right now. It's fucked up or something. I mean, there's not much terrain to go through. I must just be fucking being an idiot or something. Oh, Pain's Creek? Yeah, I don't know how difficult of like a detective -y thing it'll be, but I feel like maybe there's some shenanigans with having these on that I'm missing. Oh, is Pain's Creek scary? I, mean, I I figured it wasn't even a scary game, maybe. It's got a little spookiness. I could go for like a nice... Serious murder mystery. I don't know if it's more about the mystery gameplay-wise, or... Mystery tone, story kind of thing. Dude, I don't know what we're missing, man. I don't know, something just like not loaded in, or I'm just... Like shit. I mean, it could be some combo of this shit. A couple spooky things. Okay. do some more adventure games too. Oh, 
or more point and clicks. Oh, I don't know what we're missing, boys. He really hit this blue key. Hugo, I haven't done Hugo. Um, we did do like Toonstruck and like Monkey on 2 and uh, Indiana Jones recently. I mean, I've played other stuff too, but. Is there a door opening? Or a uh, passage in that room? Yeah, I couldn't find anything. Yeah, I'm trying to fuck with the doors, but no luck. Hey, I don't know much about Hugo. Kicked here. Maybe make a save for this. And I feel like it would have to be. in this room. So, why would you come here and not get something to further the other directions? How the dude's covered in more slime when you get damaged. Well, I've heard of Hugo's House of Wars. Yeah, I checked the cliffs, but nothing, man. to look it up just to kind of keep this stream going, man. Half the game time is going to be in this fucking level. I don't know the oldest one I've played. I just kind of play whatever. I don't know what the next one I would do is. It'd be Monkey Island 3. If I could get Miss 3 on sale for a good price, I'd do that. Look it up so we can get going. Da, da, da.
See here. I don't already have it, I don't think. just sitting right there dude but I don't have it I think I even already picked it up I don't see it on my HUD All right, let's restart this mission Cause it's just sitting up there on the ledge, like, I've been up there a thousand times. It's the problem with games with lots of secrets and bugs, is that you never know if it's a bug or a secret. I was always worried about that Llama Llama too. Okay, we had a little bit of information about those ahead of time. Oh. Uh, let me see. Because I'm pretty sure I picked it up already. Because I remarked that was... It was different than the other keys. There it is. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, it might be. I already picked that up, I think. I just kind of forgot because it's not a traditional looking key. I'm pretty sure that's got to be the key. That's a good person to blame. Safe. You won't fight it. Good scapegoat. See, blue phlegm key, and it's not on the list down there. When I picked it up. Compatibility thing? Okay, you type give blue card. Hmm. Is there a way just to give yourself like everything? Give blue skull. I doubt blue phlegm key. Give keys. Oh, I got the blue phlegm key there. Whoops. <laughs> that actually worked. Typing and get blue phlegm key. Well, let's just pretend we're not. We can't get access to those other ones. And now it's broken. Yeah, that's really odd. Okay, well, at least we're still going. Well, at least I wasn't because I sucked, man. This is just the glitch, boys. What is this opening? We'll 
just pretend we don't have the other keys. When we pick it up, we'll just get it twice. Shouldn't matter. Yeah, weird. You think that wouldn't be an issue since everybody's played this. Unless I got some, like, wacky version. So far, that's the only small tarnishing thing in the game. Now, if you're average Joe, I would assume there's a bug, though. But your average Joe's probably not playing this game, so. Yeah, this is a version... Chex Quest 3 was only released like this, I think. It's released with a separate executable and as a WAD. If we're in the same zip folder. I'm playing the one that's just the WADs together. But both of them still use GZ Doom or Z Doom or something. Maybe it's like a GZ Doom issue? Because this was made like in 2008. I don't know if they've updated it much. Yeah, he remade a bit of Chex Quest 1 and 2 and put it in Chex Quest 3. Like, this is Chex Quest 3, but with 1 and 2 as episode 1 and 2. And 3 is just been this, which they made 10 years later. It's just on their website. I'm just playing the big wad pack. Okay, what did we pick up in there? Did I pick up a key? Uh, <laughs> I actually wasn't paying attention what the next key would be. I assume we picked one up, but... I don't know which one it's gonna be, though. There was a yellow one? Okay. Thank you very much. I was too busy talking. It's the way Jess said they were teleporting him. Where the fuck are we teleporting him anyways? What magical land are these boys going to? In a slime prison. At least we got stuck or bugged on the thing that has good ass music. Just we had to listen to this song for a long time. Farm upstate, yeah. Uh, a quiet farm, they won't be heard from again. Uh, What map is this? Episode 3, map 5. It's called the Meteor Spaceship or something? Oh, there's a shot. Yeah, Meteor Spaceship at the bottom there. Teleport their minds, man. Not good at dudes. And there's the real one. Yeah, shit. Alright. We're good.
Zorch. Wonder how the other difficulties are in those. Imagine they're pretty cool. Feels like some final boss shit. Oh, dude. First we killed Slime Jesus. Now we kill Slime Eldritch Slime God. <laughs> Zorch Lord Slothfulness, man. That's what we've been doing, Zorching them. Worked fine for you? Damn, maybe it's some setting I have wrong. Maybe I should have reloaded the map instead of reloading the save. The Serial Dimension? That's where we've been? So these slime boys were from another dimension. Here to take over the serial dimension though. Where Chax reigns supreme. Uh, if only that was the case, right? Chax fever dream, man. That was sick, man. Those were good. Those were better than the master levels easily, man. <laughs> thousand times better. It feels kind of like a like Barkley shut up and jam thing. It's totally absurd, but like, clever shit. Because it's a, like, Chex is kind of a random thing to make a game about, 